the average age of a realtor is something like 55 years. Um, and so, so their age or the length of time they've been in the business? Age. Oh, the it is? The average age, yeah, it's old, older than you would think. Oh, I feel so, so young. The average age is, is, is in probably like 55. Really? Um, really. How do people live that long doing this? Well, how could somebody... <laughs> They've only been doing it for three weeks. <laughs> I don't know how anybody could be Second doing career. this for 55 years, yeah. <laughs> let alone let alone be 55 years in, in the business. So when you have an industry that is changing and evolving so quickly with technology, without being an ageist, being older myself, it's very hard to keep up with all of the changes in technology. And so I know for myself who I'm calling with technological questions and issues and yeah, who are you calling? all the time. Pretty much everybody on the team younger than me, which is everybody on the team. I can be on a Zoom call with Jerome and Jerome used to be in tech and I just watch him zing around when on a share screen with his computer. I can't even follow the cursor. It's moving so fast and it is so intuitive for him. And that's how he's communicating to clients and that's how they themselves communicate. <laughs> And so, you know, or I have a question with something or like, you know, the new app Realm changes happen in Realm through Treb or Broker Bay and all these changes happen. And the younger members of our team can figure it out and adopt yeah. and are so fearless about just diving right in. And I'm looking at this going like, oh my God, I do not want to open this new version of Realm. So I haven't opened it either. Just if that makes you feel better. <laughs> so when you have an aging professional population and you have an industry where technology is changing so rapidly, mm -hmm. um, there's a disconnect. And one of the things that I know personally is how I lean on a lot of the younger, which is basically everyone on our team, but people for help with keeping up and help for access yep. and opinions and if you're a solo agent and you're the average age or even older, on top of everything else, adding this additional layer yeah, and then huge. trying to and then trying to communicate with a millennial in their own terms, and they're the ones that are going to be driving the real estate market for the next twenty years. Good point. It's all out of sync, and so having the ability to have such a wide demographic on a team really helps with the ability to keep up with all the changes that are happening on the tech side of our industry on a day-to-day -day basis. It it just it's it's amazing. And so I think that's another important that's thing huge. to be thinking about. Yeah. I remember when I was with my former former brokerage, which is a very established brokerage in the city, but it does have a lot of agents that have been in the business for many years that are adorable and are still showing up at the office daily wearing a Chanel suit. I kid you not. I have high respect. And the fact they're still crushing it just blows my mind, but very challenged with technology. They're sitting at these clunky computers and they're like, Corey, can you help me upload these JPEGs to MLS? I'm thinking, oh my God, like how this is, I mean, this is a long time ago too. So like, I don't even understand like how they could possibly keep up now. If they're having a hard time like uploading JPEGs to MLS and A, like why are they doing their own MLS uploading to begin with is surprising. I remember thinking, oh my God, like how are they ever gonna be able to thrive in this business in five years service, or 10 years? And service their clients. In 20 years and, and service their clients. And I, I get, I think that's a really good point. I don't think it's really discussed enough. So love that for sure.